Hi there, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your April reading. Of course, energy is fluid, so there's no sort of cutoff date for these energies here, and you're popping right up and out. Father of Swords in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Four of Wands upright. Popping out as a trio here. So I'm going to set those off to the side. This card wants to pop out Son of Wands. Wow. And Strength. Popping right out as well. Exactly perpendicular to the Son of Wands. Like the base of the Son of Wands. This is very strong energy. Gemini, very strong. Strength is a very strong energy, right, in and of itself. But the Son of Wands as well, it's like fire, fire, and they're supporting each other, right? It's like the Son of Wands is growing out from strength. Beautiful. Okay, this is um, entrepreneurial energy, definitely so. Entrepreneurial, commanding, taking control, taking reign. Um, I'm hearing creative assets, creative assets, tapping into them, harnessing your fire, right? We all have fire in our charts somewhere, right? Even if, let's say, you're a Gemini sun. Um, everybody has fire somewhere in their chart. So it's about tapping into that, right? That magician-like energy, the role of creator, realizing that we create our world. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'm going to keep shuffling a bit here, okay? Wow. Okay, let's go for it, sun. First card popping out for your spread. Gemini, and you pulled strength, and you pulled the son of wands. Come on now. I was about to shuffle, so let me shuffle it again, okay? Lots of fire. Lots of fire. Um, and the desiring of it, as we're seeing from your deep past. So it's like now, it's like your dream, whatever this was, to step into the sun, to step into the light, bring about this new day, this new day. And the deck almost flew completely out of my palm here. This dream, this dream was momentous, was momentous. It was like the dream of your whole being. You wanted to just be reborn. And look, you're doing it. You're doing it, Gemini. Dreams coming to fruition, coming to fulfillment. You are regaining a sense of self. Regaining a sense of self. I'm going to take that card because it was like, I don't want to come out, but I want to come out. The devil in reverse. This is what has liberated you. This is what has liberated you. Strongly, Gemini. You have stepped out of any position of codependency. You're taking the reins. You're taking the reins of your life. Back in hand and you're charging forward, Gemini. Beautiful. You're realizing, you're realizing the creating of the sun, the stepping into the day is by way of my self-sufficiency, not my um, codependency on anyone or anything. Right? I, I choose to step into the day. I create the day by way of my light that shines, that radiates. Right? The radiating light from this uh, lion is so powerful, is so magnanimous. Right? The lion steps forward along this path and illuminates the path because of its own light that it's shedding. Beautiful. Beautiful. And with the Son of Wands, it's like, I'm going to wield my fire. I'm going to create light, right? I'm going to create, period. I'm a creator. And um, I'm going to go with this stack, this mini deck that that um, fell out here just as I was about to pick up the deck again and reshuffle and do the spread. These got left behind. This is wants to, what is what wants to come out, and we will go with that, all right? Both of these cards wanted to pop out together, together, in your advice. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on, Gemini. I feel like, right, a lot is coming out, a lot is happening for you. A lot is going to be happening for you. 
in this beginning uh, portion of April, okay? Son of Cups coming in reversed, right beneath, sort of right at the base of the Son of Wands. Two suns, two suns diverging, okay, with the strength card right in the middle. It's like a fork, okay? Um, I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to do a little bit of a spin-off on the energies here, okay? Um, given that this um, thick deck just popped out, all right? So, here we go. Here we go. And I want to flip this card over. Gemini. Gemini. The star. The star is rising. You are rising up in a way. You pulled judgment as well. In reverse, we'll get to it. But, but this is the first step, right, to succeeding your dreams. Leaving this old world behind. Moving up and on, ascending, so that you may, right, unlock this dream. This dream that you have so deep within every fiber of your being. That's what I'm feeling for you, Gemini. Whatever this is, you have your sights set on. Look, all of this energy is just moving up. Son of Wands, moving up, growing out of the ground, right? This bird on the judgment card, flying up. It's a, like an evaporative sort of energy. Beautiful. Letting go of heavy, right? Heavy, materialistic, controlling energy. Letting that go, right? Learning to let go. I feel that's a big thing. That's a big, big, big concept here. Letting go so that I can... Um, move, right, higher, so I can get to higher ground, because I know that that's where my dreams lie. They don't lie down here, right, in these types of situations with people who, who don't maybe empower us, or maybe it could be your own propensity, or absolutely it could be your own propensity, right, your own sort of, um, um, it can even be the self-talk, right, or the way that you view stability, right? Maybe perhaps before it was more based on a materialistic sort of feeling of security and stability. Where now we're seeing, right, it's this alleviation, alleviation from materialistic, even even the, um, the physical, tangible world that we're in. It's like, you're setting your sights. You're setting your sights on the future that is to come by way of your own making, your own vision, your own doing, your own planning, okay? You are reestablishing the foundation of your world, Gemini. That's what you're doing here. It's powerful energy. Powerful energy. So let's step right into it here. Um, the sun in reverse in your deep past, Gemini. There is a, 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 um, a vision, a desire, right? But one that's vague. Knowing, I want to, um, right? I don't want to be in the dark anymore. I don't want to be constricted, held down by my own uh, desires, needs that I think I need, what I, what I think that I need, right? I want to be free, boundless, to pursue my dreams, my wildest dreams, my wildest dreams. Because I know that I'm capable, I have that within me to make that, right, ideal uh, world a reality. And so, right, but here's the thing. In the deep past, right, you were like, this is my dream. I want this. That's where I want to move towards. I know that's what I want. That's the channeling of my fire energy that I, uh, that I desire. And you stepped into the Four of Cups, upright, recent past. The rat on the Four of Cups is looking over at the reverse sun. Look at this interaction. Okay, here, here it is, right? We have this concept of heavy, stagnant energy, right? It's like on lockdown. I'm feeling this was your past. This was your past. The Four of Cups speaks to withholding, withholding emotional truth. The um, otherwise um, um, open, right, fluid acceptance of our own emotions and the sharing of them with others, right? It's that connective space. 
but there was a reluctance to face, to face. It's interesting, right? It's interesting because the rat is facing the sun, which is like a blinding light, right? It's a, like a really bright, bright light. Facing the sun, like, that's what I want. That's what I, I want to be there, right? But I'm stuck here holding my cups down, making sure, right, that none of them, none of them overflow. So, there's a need, right, and there was a reluctance, perhaps, to face the deeper part of what we, uh, uh, it's like this. There's a reluctance to face what we want. in a way, by the reluctance to face what we need to face in order to officially, right, come uh, to, to, uh, to bring into fruition what we want, if that makes sense. It's like, it's like the rat knows. It's like looking over, like, this is where I need to move. I know that I need to move. I can't stay here holding this emotional fort down forever. I can't hold, I can't bottle in these emotions forever if this is where I want to go. But I know that in order to move here into the sun, I need to abandon this sense of restriction that I have over my own emotional propensity. I need to let go, right? In order to be able to let go, ascend, transform, and pursue my dreams. Gemini, right? So it's like, there was un an unlocking, okay, of emotional truth that needed to happen, that I'm feeling happened, that I'm feeling happened because we're moving straight up the apex of your reading, Gemini. Strength and the Son of Wands. It's like this could be no more powerful of a configuration as I'm reading it here in the spread for you. Okay, it's like this is a powerful configuration right here. It's like part of a triangle. All that's needed is just one more leg, right? And that's a very powerful figure. So, so, you have risen to a state of self-empowerment, absolutely. Not looking back, being super solid on what is going to actually be conducive for the growth, right, that I seek along this new path of even self-discovery, self-discovery. Thinking about, what do I want to create? I have all the strength. Now that, right, I am actually stepping forward along this path, what do I want to create in this new world that I've embarked upon? And so, your current state is the Wheel of Fortune, Gemini. Oh my goodness. Right next to judgment in your near future. And strength and the Son of Wands in the apex. This, it, and I will say, and I will say the, st the star card in your theme with a lot of others, uh, with a lot of, um, of these other energies that we have, also the four of wands, opening up the mind, right? The wheels are turning, Gemini, and you are stepping along the path that even you cannot fathom. It's like you, you are creating something, right? And you are, you, are, you are feeding this plant, okay? You're watering this plant that is growing out of the ground, but there's still somewhat of a sense of mystery. When this plant grows, what is it actually gonna look like? When this baby is born, what is it actually gonna look like? What is it gonna be, right? What is it gonna be like? It, he, she, they, right? It's like, there's a sense of mystery, allure, and you know that. There's a sense of enchantment in, in to, to this new direction that you're moving in. Wheel of Fortune. It's like we cannot control even to a certain degree what this, um, what, what this, um, what this em embarkment upon this new path will bring us where it will lead us eventually. But all you know is that you're being strongly guided down it, okay, and intuitively so as well, because you have the figure eight on the forehead of this lion, right, on the strength card, so you're being driven forward by way of your intuition, and you're realizing, you know what, this is a new path for me, but wherever it leads me, right, I am going to, 
to um, to confront. I'm going to confront. But in a way, I'm hearing calibrated, in a way that's calibrated, where I am calibrated within myself, within my own being, where I feel like I'm comfortable and okay with the mystery, because I'm comfortable and, and I believe I have faith in my willing and ableness to, to handle whatever it is that I face, whatever that mystery is, because I know that this is the path that speaks to my soul, my soul empowerment, right? The growth of my being on every level, on, on, right? On many different levels. So, but there's a, there's a turning, there's a turning it up to fate. There's a turning it up to fate. When the wheel turns, right? It's like, we don't, we can't always, um, 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 algorithmically sort of configure when the wheel turns. It turns when it, when it, when it does when it's meant to, and how it's meant to, right? Okay, so, but whatever this is, Gemini, right, you had an inkling. It was like you saw this, this light from the lighthouse in the fog at sea, and you just faintly, you were like, that's where I need to go. That's where I need to move. And now you, right, you stepped into the path of, like, I'm going to start steering the ship in that direction. Because, right, it's like, let's say everyone else, all the other sailors on this ship are just, they're, like, snoring. And everyone is lost at sea. And you're like, that's where I need to go. Like, you're waking up groggy-eyed. And you're like, that's the direction. I see the light. And no one else, right, is steering this ship. You're like, that's it, right? I, I got to steer the ship. I'm going to steer my ship. I'm going to move in that direction, in the direction that's right for me, navigated by intuition. Figure eight on the forehead of the strength. Lion. So, but look at this. Look at this. Look, wheel of fortune is kind of like the wheel, the steering wheel of the ship, right? It's like, and these are both cards that speak to circularity. Circularity, right? So it's kind of like, it's like coming closer, coming closer, approaching what this fog, this light in the fog was. You're now realizing, right? Whoa. This is a whole new world. Like, I thought that this was just a lighthouse. I thought that it was just, it, that, that was like going to be sort of, uh, you had this, you had this imagination, this depiction of what it was going to be like once you reached this world, this new place. And now, Gemini, right? There's a feeling, but there's also a submission to the process of not knowing exactly, right? Maybe this isn't a lighthouse. I thought it was a lighthouse, but maybe, right? It's not. And if it's not, that's okay too. Because I'm being driven by my intuition yet again, right? Okay. And I will say this, I will say this. Also, Gemini, it's like, the reason why, right, you pursued this light was not because you thought it was a lighthouse you just thought oh the light it's, a, it's maybe it's maybe it's a lighthouse okay this is the direction i need to move in it wasn't because it was a lighthouse you were like i need to find a lighthouse and then that's why it's like no right it's that it was a light symbolically speaking as well take it as you as you will but being 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 driven and magnetized by your intuition right the day Moving away from restrictive, um, from restrictive situations, right? Wanting to break out, okay, even of your of the box in some way. So realizing that, hey, right, the light that I was being guided by is not leading to the lighthouse that I suspected. It's leading me somewhere else, and it's okay because you weren't right making movement towards this for the sake of it being a lighthouse. So that's the feeling I'm getting, that you're like, that, that, that you maybe thought, right, that it was going to lead you in a certain direction, and then you're realizing, whoa, like, the universe has other plans for me. Maybe it's that kind of thing, okay? So, so, let's, um, let's, let's move on and down the energy here. You pulled then after that in your advice position. The Eight of Cups in reverse, Five of Wands upright, they were like sticky. They were like sticky together. 
okay? So they really want it to be together, okay? So I'm going to read them together. And um, Gemini, okay. So look, right? Water, fire, wands, cups. Eight of cups in reverse, letting go of emotional, any sort of emotional baggage, right? From the past, I'm feeling it's a duplication of four of cups, right? This four turns into an eight and you're letting the eight go. Four and four, two individuals contributing to the situation with lots of emotions pent up, not speaking, right, about them. It gets to the point where you're like, look, I need to steer the ship. And that's my priority. And that's my prerogative. That's what I'm hearing. It's my prerogative, okay? If you want to sit here and just stare at this reversed sun, it's like this is a concept of a sun, right? I want to live in the sun. I want to live in the light. I want to create my light, right? So it's like you, in a way, you, you decided that this behavior, either on your part or engaging with it, with others, whatever it may be, right? Memories associated, it could also be memories associated with the past. You've decided it's not conducive and it has no place. You have to let it go if you want to enter the jungle. That's what I'm feeling. It's like when you are on a mission, it's like it's like this. Like if you're if you're on some sort of uh, I don't know, imagine like Survivor, right? Survivor, the show where right you like embark in upon this journey in the jungle with just very little, and it's a very, uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sort of situation that um, throttles you in a position of fight or flight or fight or flight, right? So, and at that point, when you're in that survival mode, it's like you don't have time to like worry about um, just the more simple, mundane, okay? Um, aspects of life, right? It's like, my shirt has dirt on it, and you know what? That's part of the process. And uh, my priority, right, is to survive, is to, is to find my way, to find my way, to find the light, right? To create the light. So when you're in that fight or flight mode, right, and you're like, I am encountering the jungle. I'm, I am at the hand of fate with this new path that I'm on. I'm enchanted by it. This is this is what motivates me and what excites me. You're like, I don't have time to contribute to this anymore. This has no place here. This is stagnant. This is non-conducive. This could have been linked to this, the devil kind of energy, okay, and situation. Okay, so five of wands beneath that can be speaking to what is taking the place of this propensity, right, to just ruminate and contribute to past situations that left us emotionally dissatisfied, okay? Five of Wands is like, ye okay, I'm just going to put this aside because it's it really feels, right, like it's up and out, no longer concerned about that. This is what's pushing itself out now, and that is deciding what direction exactly you want to move in, how you want to channel this fire exactly, right? What wand is the Son of Wands going to actually decide to pick up and light? That's the feeling I'm getting with the Five of Wands here, okay? So you could be having a lot of creative ideas, even, on how you are to... Um, you, it's like you're trying to imagine and make sense of this new world. And almost like, look, where this is trying to plan and control, right, in a way. Decide, how do I move forward, right? Um, how do I channel my creative fire and energy. This is like, you ain't got no control over the process at all, in a way. At this point, with the, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like, the universe has its ways, right? And um, we can only direct our focus. We can only show up to the meeting, right? But what happens within that meeting, we can't always control, okay? It's like an interview. I'm compelled to say that. It's like an interview. So it's all, it's like, you know, 
there's a mystery to it, right? But in a way, you're, like, so excited about it that you're, like, it could go like this, and it can go like that, and I can do this, and I can do it like that also, which is a very Gemini thing, right? Being a very actively minded air sign. Okay, thinking of all the alternatives and possibilities, being able to see it from this angle, and this angle, and this angle. And if you take a look at the Wheel of Fortune card, it is... It's disseminated by um, wands, rather strategically, but also haphazardly in some ways, too. It's chaos and order. So I'm feeling that you're trying to understand and make sense of the order, the order that is, uh, it, it, that, that will comprise this new world. It's so anomalous. It's so otherworldly. That that you're 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 trying in a way to like wrap your mind around it, okay. So, but I'm feeling you. Can, it's like not something that you can actually have an algorithmic way of deciphering. I'm feeling that it's like you're just gonna have to find out. You're just gonna have to enter this jungle. You're gonna have to enter this world. You're gonna have to go into that meeting, and you're gonna you're gonna find out, right? So there's a there's an aspect of experience, okay, and time, and due time that is um, conveyed with these two cards, all right? But you're excited about it, Gemini. Whoa, you're excited about it. And you, like, you want this so badly. You want this. Um, and you feel like it's going to speak to the, um, just the revelation even of your soul path and your true soul fulfillment and calling. Here's the other thing, right? This Eight of Cups, heavy, heavy, heavy energy on top of, this very productive, right, five of wands card. The need, the desire to seek out productivity or a means by which we can be productive. And this is, right, just stagnant. So here's the thing. It's almost like, like this energy needs to move out so that, right, this transformation into this perception, the excitement that you have and the clarity that you, the greater clarity that you have as it regards this new path can actually uh, breathe, right? That's what I'm feeling. So if you haven't yet done away with this, I'm feeling that you so have. I'm feeling that you so have, right? Just keep it in mind. So I'm going to keep in mind for some of you perhaps, okay? Now in your near future, judgment in reverse. So here's the thing. I'm feeling that again, right? Whatever this situation is that comes into play, whatever this this environment is that you're kind of thrown into, or whatever you stumble upon, right? Whatever matter that you have to handle um, is going to require of you a decision. But think about this decision before you make it. Think long and hard about this decision before you make it. Um, okay, Gemini. I'm feeling that I'm feeling that this new change, whatever it is, this decision is going to require of you to look at things from a perspective that is um, um, not purely intellectual. Like this decision I'm feeling is going to require your imagination, your active imagination. I'm hearing that loudly, Gemini, okay? Um, Father of Swords, Ace of Swords. So both of these cards speaking to a decision that needs to be made with judgment, decision, decision. Um, let me tune in though one second, okay, Gemini? You have two fours. Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles. You may be considering, thinking about what the foundation, what the basis, even what the financial um, 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 foundation of whatever this new project is that you are um, working through or, or pursuing is going to look like. Okay, so you're trying to um, perhaps even make sense of something that is more otherworldly and creative, trying to stabilize it, trying to make it something stable 
and long-term scalable. Okay, so we're seeing a fusion between a fusion between um, <clears throat> creative energy, right? Absolute creative energy, and that which is strategic, that which is clear-sighted, focused, and stable. Okay, financially and otherwise. So here, let's take a look here. We got the Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So whatever the situation is, Four of Pentacles, this can be involving you and another person and how both of you are going to creatively contribute to the, the building up of whatever this is, project um, or otherwise, okay? And you actually, right, when you pulled the Son of Cups, um, right beneath the Son of Wands. So look at these two energies, right? Water, fire, and strength in the middle. This is like power couple status. That's what I'm feeling. It's like they are bound, and they're complementary, right? They're complementary. They're bound by strength. Oops, it's like this, yes. With strength right in the middle. It's like the connecting dock between these two energies. So... This may be a partnership, this may be a duo, or it just may mean, right, it, it may depict the two propensities of your own being, that which is more um, um, uh, soft, intuitive, nurturing, creative, right, and that which is ardent, passionate, okay, driven, and more of a cardinal-like energy, right, that which pushes, right, initiates, um, um, uh, feelings, right? Acts on those feelings and desires. So, so, if it's a partnership though, I'm feeling it absolutely can be a partnership for some of you. There is, there is a thinking on, a rumination on, right? How can we both contribute to the foundation of this? How maybe even can we both, um, how, how can we both sort of raise this child, so to speak, okay? And it can require, right, financial consideration as well. How are we both going to fairly contribute to the situation as one? Furthermore, the two of swords in reverse beneath that very interesting why because the two of swords is sort of pinning at its apex what looks like a fiery blazing moon speaking to the fusion between fire and water energy right and here we have it fire and water energy so you may feel right with this person that you are just like it's like two peas in a pod you guys are so complimentary you have different skills to bring to the table and you when you bring them together you create magic okay now whatever this is whatever this is the two of swords in reverse speaks to speaks to the decision the knowing that we have these skills right but thinking about how we're going to bring them together. How is this going to, what is this going to actually look like? It's like seeing the, the, the light in the fog, in the mist, but not seeing exactly where that light is being shined from, right? Is it a lighthouse? What is it? Well, I can't, you know, exactly make full, logical, clear-sighted, clear-sighted sense of it, right? It's like the same thing here. It's a sort of vague energy of peeping through into this whole new world, but not knowing exactly. It's like there's an ambiguity to this energy. Definitely. So, so there's, there's like a, um, we're seeing a desire, right? To clarify, clarify. It's like, we know that we have this otherworldly sort of vision, but what is this actually going to mean? What is it actually going to look like? Right? And so there's this rumination, this, this period of rumination that is, um, that is underway and perhaps even already moved through given that it's in reverse. This could have already taken place, right? You guys have maybe even decided how am I going to use my skill sets here and how are you going to use your skill sets here, right? Really hashing out the details of this. This can even speak to legal dissemination, right, of, uh, of, of skills that both parties are to bring to the table. Otherwise, it simply speaks to, right, your own propensity. Knowing I have a fire side, I have a water side, both of these propensities, this very creative, compassionate energy, how do I want to wield these two aspects of myself together in a way that's conducive, that is um, going to bring this dream, this dream into fruition that is scalable and stable. 
And so you have here the Daughter of Wands overlaying the Ace of Cups, overlaying the Death card. Okay, let's get to these three energies together. So, interesting. Daughter of Wands. So, this is speaking to the fire propensity. Okay. You have the daughter and you have the son of wands. You have the pair showing up here. So, this could be speaking to your own propensity. The own sort of... Um, um, means by which you exert your fire element, or it can speak to the to the individual that's more of the fire element in this duo. But I'm feeling for you that wielding this fire, right, this creative drive, once you clarify, once and for all, the direction you want to move in, right, how am I going to actually make this come together and happen? Which wand do I want to light, right, and move forward with? Once you step into that, role. It's going to absolutely bring you emotional renewal, emotional renewal, a regeneration of your emotional satisfaction, deep emotional satisfaction that is self-wielded, right? It's not like satisfaction that is like, that is, that is, um, by way of, of, of a situation in which we feel tied or bound to the person in some kind of way. It's like, it's like, no, like I am, I'm happy. I'm fulfilled because I'm creating, I'm pursuing my dream. I'm the creator, right? I'm the manifester of it. And look at this Gemini, right? It's like the daughter of wands. It's almost like she's, she's heading straight for that ace of cups. Like, I'm charging straight ahead towards that cup. That's what I want to create. She's taking matters into her own hands, right? To pursue, to grasp her happiness, to reclaim her cup even, her happiness, right? By way of no one and nothing else. So, there's a self-reliancy. There's a self-sufficiency that we're seeing here. Absolutely. Absolutely. With the judgment card and strength and Really, most of these cards, the Son of Wands, the Son of Cups, these are all sort of directional, uh, solitary energy movements, right? And beneath, right, the Ace of Cups, you have Death overlaying the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, overlaying the Mother of Pentacles upright, overlaying the Magician in reverse. So, underpinning this whole transformation is the realization that you are a creator, that you create, you are the wielder of all of your elements together, right? This is the harmonization of all of the elements of your being in such a way, in such a way that, 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 um, liberates you, liberates you, Gemini, right? Liberates you and your dreams, right? To which point you're like, wait a second. This isn't really where I want to be. This is not the be all end all. I have a dream. I have a dream and it's up to me to pursue it, right? It's by way of the recalibration even of my own being. The capitalization on my skills and talents in a way that is self-driven and motivated taking the bull by the horns, right? Redirecting my focus on, on um, you know, things that are actually productive, right? Not things that are, that, that keep us in the past. And so it's like this, right? It's like this. It's the bringing together of all of these elements of your being that unlocks, that unleashes the realization even of what you want to create. Okay, and so, and so, you have death overlaying the seven of pentacles, you have two sevens, I believe two sevens, let's, let's, do you have two sevens? Two sevens, you do not have two sevens, hmm, I was feeling very strongly that there was another seven here, but I suppose, I suppose not, no, no, okay, 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 so, Nonetheless, right? Death overlooking the Seven of Pentacles, overlooking the Mother of Pentacles. So, two Pentacles cards in a row in this trio here. 
death is ever looking at the seven of pentacles. So here, here it is, right? Here it is. These two energies, Mother of Pentacles, the Magician, are complete polar energies. Complete, complete, right? But the Magician, especially as I'm reading it in the spread for you, the Magician is like, Bachelor. Hello, I am like, I am like a fly, fly guy. Like, I am a fly, fly girl. I am a, I am just a fly um, being. Because I, right, create my dreams and my dreams soar right there is a certain airiness okay to the magician that which cannot even be fully right conceived understood fathomed there is a magic to the magician right but there's also an independence to the magician it's like you don't even know what the magician is going to create right it's like that is the allure of the magician contrasted with the mother of pentacles right it's like this energy is heavy. It's down to the ground. It's earth. It's stable. It's predictable, right? So the magician is ready to rock and roll. The mother of pentacles is like, wait, let's make sure everyone's safe. Seatbelts on, like, <laughs> right? Let's make sure it's all sort of all, all ors are in order. So I'm feeling that, that, Perhaps, right? There is a need. There is a need. Look at these four cards together. There is a need for this propensity, this reliance on a path that is more re uh, reliable, more predictable to be transformed. It's like, in order to turn this magician right side up, right? He has to work. He has to comply with the transformation of this propensity, okay? To be like, I need to know right exactly what the path is because that is so polar, so polar to to the wheel of fortune. Absolutely, right? The wheel turns. It's not like just one straight path moving in one direction that you know, right? Bloop, 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 bloop. Like I'm gonna just move along this escalator. Nope. Like it is. We do not know, right? Like this wheel spins. So there's there's a need right to transform even your perception of this whole process and i almost said pisces i almost said pisces if you know a pisces if you have a pisces ascendant rising or moon sign you may want to check that video out as there could be some crossover um nonetheless um I almost said Virgo. Something's going on. Something's going on. I haven't done the Virgo video yet, so um, stay tuned for that. Um, but nonetheless, right? If if you feel if you feel Gemini that um, that there is crossover with any one of those signs, and you may want to check those videos out. Nonetheless, though, it seems like there this is an absolutely um, transformational uprooting, uprooting of your being, of the path that you're on, and it requires of you that that sort of mind bending propensity to look at a situation with um, a completely new set of glasses, right? Like whatever this new world is that I'm moving into. It's like the old way of, of looking at things. That old lens just doesn't apply any longer. And it's time to switch them out, right? It's time to switch them out. And um, the more that you surrender to that process, right? Um, and the more that you detoxify from ideologies, people, situations that do not align with this new path, with this dream, right? The faster and more seamless the transition is going to be for you. All right, Gemini, beautiful, beautiful. Enjoy March enjoy April and I will be back soon with your new moon reading in a few days so let's see how you set these intentions into motion for the new moon cycle approaching us all right thank you so much again Gemini and I'll talk to you soon